Xbox Elite Series 2. I bought one of these bad guys in anticipation of using with my new Xbox Series X when it came out, and I've been using this for about five months now, and I've got to tell you the answer to that is... Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne. Thank you so much for being here. And if this is your first time here, I make videos just like this one to simplify your gaming experience. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the controller itself. And this is the Elite Series 2 right here. And this is definitely a bit of an upgrade over the Elite Series 1. And there are a few other little additions to this one that you won't find on the Elite 1. For instance, like the shift button here for further remapping. Um, there also is a little bit of a texture to the rubber grip here rather than just the rubber feel to it, which gives it a nice little uh, grip in your hands. And lastly, one other big feature that I really like about this controller is that it has an internal battery inside the controller and when you buy this controller it actually comes with a case with a built-in battery charger in the case itself so you can just set it right back in the case and then it will charge for you in the meantime otherwise you can just plug it directly in with the USB-C port um, but if you'd like to use the case and keep it into a nice safe secure spot uh, you can put it in there with the USBs going into the case and it will charge this now that actually is a pretty huge benefit because if you're clumsy like me, I've already had two Elite Series 1 controllers where I've accidentally dropped both of those and end up breaking the top left bumper on both of those controllers. So having that uh, case with the battery charger already kind of in it, it's just a nice extra little feature that wasn't there before. But you didn't come here to learn about what the Elite Series 2 controller is. If you still need to have that information, guys, there's plenty of reviews out there already on YouTube. Please check out one of those great videos. I'm sure you'll find a wealth of information on there. What I'm gonna to talk to you today about is whether you should even buy this controller or whether you shouldn't buy the controller that's going to go with your new Xbox. Series X. Now, when it comes to whether you should buy the controller or not, I really feel this answer really is a maybe. It's really going to depend on your situation and what you're going to be using the controller for. And you may be saying, well, Wayne, what do you mean? What, what do you mean it depends on the situation that you're wanting it for? Well, uh, in the case of like when I game, if I'm going to play a very fast paced game, something like a Call of Duty where, you know, you really need to have that fast twitch shooting ability, then using something like the Xbox Series X controller that comes with the Series X is actually going to benefit you more than having the Elite Series 2, in my opinion. That is because the Xbox Series X controller comes with the data latency input, or DLI, that comes with the new Series X. Now, this is all part of a bigger scheme where the controller, the Xbox, and the TV you have all go into a bigger mix of making sure that your latency from the controller into your uh, Xbox to the TV is extremely fast. Now, with the Series X controller, you're going to have a very fast dynamic latency input so that your controller, the actions that you take on the controller are going to sync up with the Xbox and TV extremely, extremely fast, much faster than you'll find an Xbox One controller or even the Xbox Series X. So if you're going to play something like a Call of Duty again, and you need to be as fast and on target as fast as possible to give you that extra little bit of an edge, then I would suggest using the Series X controller. However, if you are in another game that doesn't necessarily require really fast reaction times and the input to the uh, Xbox and TV doesn't have to be the fastest connection to it, uh, then you may not necessarily need that, you know, absolute uh, speed for that. And then that is the situation in which you could go back to where using the Series X is really beneficial. However, in my case, if I'm playing something like Overwatch, Overwatch isn't a game that I need to have that absolute fastest split section reaction in order to come out ahead in that game. And in fact, I actually find that using things like the paddles on the back of the Series 2 controller really benefit how I can play that game and give me an edge that way. So when I'm playing, it really comes down to do I need to have those split section reaction times or do I need to have the additional paddles and the different mapping of the buttons and stuff and that really determines which controller I'm going to play with and so the situation determines which controller I'm going to use. So as I was kind of saying I, I do really feel that there is a lot of value still in the Xbox Series X Elite 2 controller. I haven't seen any type of information out there about Elite Series 3 controller coming out anytime soon. Uh, in fact these really haven't even been out what six months, seven months, not even a year yet so I can't really see that Microsoft is going to release a new uh, Elite 3 controller just yet, and based on the information I'm finding, there is none. 
So I would say that if you are still looking to buy an Elite controller, if you still like having the paddles on the back of your controller and you want to stick with the Microsoft product, then yeah, I, I think that the Elite Series 2 is going to have some value to you. And I think in the right situation, you'll really enjoy using it. Uh, and there's also multiple reasons. If you like the internal batteries and the price isn't an object to you, then you know I think it'll be worth the buy. But if you're really mostly playing games that require you to really have those split fraction reactions, I would stick with going to the Xbox Series X controller itself. So guys, I hope that helps you kind of make a decision on whether you should go ahead and spend the money on buying the Elite Series 2 or whether you should just wait until maybe a Series 3 comes out with the new DLI in there. Hopefully one of those happens. Hopefully they'll come out with maybe some sort of update that we can put on these controllers. But again, same thing, haven't heard anything about that guys. So let me know what you think guys. Would you buy an Elite Series 2 right now? Have you already bought one? What do you think of it? Are you using it with your Xbox Series X? Let me know those in the comments below. With that said guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.